Hello to my Cappies. Hello to my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. So Capricorns, this cycle ends on the 4th of July. It ends on the 4th of July. This reading is for the 3rd of July through the 10th of July. Okay, so mark your calendars. Again, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Take only what resonates with you. Only what resonates with you. This is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We are already in the new moon phase. So new moon, new you. Make sure you finish out this cycle. Close out this cycle. Finish it out strong. The moon is moving into Gemini. You'll know that you landed on the light side of the moon in Gemini. If you're feeling more versatile, witty, charming, lively, amusing... In contrast, you'll know if you or others have landed on the dark side of the moon in Gemini I'm feeling more disorganized, inconsistent, superficial, cunning, manipulative. So you'll notice the energies around you if they um, ha are acting a little strange and spooky. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. So yeah, but whatever your sun sign is, it doesn't really matter. Even for my cross watchers who's tuned in. You know, a Gemini moon imparts a witty intellect, a dependent spirit, an independent spirit, and an, an imaginative sparkle to your personality. Gemini is, um, that's the lover's card, right? So we started out on 6-6, six, six, this new moon. We started out in a new moon in Gemini, which is the lover's card. Lover's card is not necessarily about lovers. It's about partnerships in business and in love, but it's also about decisions, right? So the number six is in the shape of a curved back with a bulging stomach. So when you're saying you and somebody, it could be you and some kind of, you're an accountability partner, it could be you and a sibling, you and a love interest, you and a some family member, whomever. Now basically an accountability partner saying you all are detaching from scarcity mindset energies um, and you all are on your journey to connecting with abundance mindset energies, right? And so if, you, if you've been documenting your journey through this cycle and you have been intentionally landing on the bright side of these moon phases, you should be exactly where you said you were, you were planning on being. We had a full strawberry moon in Capricorn, right? And so two planets are currently retrograde, Pluto, which is the judgment card. So you should be delivered from other people's judgment about what seeds you're planting, how you're growing your seeds, what people you're around and how you're growing, you know, whatever you're growing, your money, growing your love life, growing your your mind, what classes you're taking. You should be free from other people's judgment. And then also uh, your ruling planet Saturn is yours and one of Aquarius's ruling planet Saturn is retrograde. And that's all about structure in a very mature and authoritative way and creating boundaries and, enfor and not being afraid to enforce those boundaries, right? All right, let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards. Again, here we have the Justice card. Here we also have the Tower card. Here we also have the Sun card. Here we have the Strength card. Here we also have the Temperance card. And also the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, right? So here we have the Justice card. Justice card connects us with um, Venus, the Goddess of Love, right? Here we also have the Tower card. Here we also have the strength card. Here we also have the temperance card. You all are divinely protected, but somebody, you keep having tower moments because source keeps trying to get somebody to move out of a comfort zone, right? Somebody is dealing with a very bullying, strong arm type of energy, right? Somebody is dealing with or have dealt with some kind of an energy that is um, trying to force their will on you and you're divinely protected um, and so sources say, here we have the sun card right here. And they're very, they're narcissistic. I mean, there's no other way to say it. They're narcissistic. They make everything about them. They have a, um, this, um, <clears throat> this, um, and you could be a little indecisive about their spirit. But this, uh, this is, uh, connects us with Libra. We're not talking about any Libras that you know. It could be a Libra. We're not necessarily talking about a particular Libra. But this could be like the low side of Libra would be indecisiveness. Um... But it's it's been disappointing for you. It's two energies that you're just like, it's a man and a woman and you just kind of like disappointed and eventually you're going to move on from it because like I said, they're trying to force their will, the way of thinking, trying to control the way you're thinking about yourself, you know, onto you. And so, like I said, you're divinely protected. People are praying for you all. Um, and so 
you all, if you can keep in mind, um, like I said, you have a guardian angel, you know, that's watching over you to help you to see things from a higher frequency. When you're dealing with self-absorbed people, just in general, who want to control the way that you think about yourself and just the flow of information that's coming to you, this is why I talk about pulling your birth chart so much. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. This is why I talk about pulling your birth chart so much. Like a lot of times people come to look at videos. They look and say, oh, I just want to be entertained. I want to see if my boyfriend or girlfriend is coming back. I need to see who's obsessed with me and all of this other stuff. But um, there are people who come to watch tarot to find out um, like what's what's happening. Like what's 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 why are, am I going through this and what's going on here, right? So source is saying you have a loved one on the other side. You have an ancestor that's helping you to move on from, you know, some things, you know, as it relates to two energies that because Venus, which rules this planet right here, is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics. It's also a peacemaker planet. And you're trying to protect your peace the best way you know how to your peace of mind. Right. But when you got people around you who are trying to bully you and force their will on you, almost as if. Things just come too easy for you when you're trying to process your thoughts and you're trying to go through a rite of passage and you're trying to, you know, build, you know, uh, you're trying to move through life and you're not moving fast enough for certain people around you. That's a scarcity mindset. Those are people who will uh, cause you to kind of, um, it's a, it, it's like a, it's a, a, it's a premature blessing could feel like a burden. Let me give somebody a um, let me give somebody a, an example of what I mean by that. So it's like a person who says, you know, they, they want to sing or it, and somebody pushes you out on stage and just puts you in fight or flight mode. Right. Before you they push you out. Not only not not they don't prepare you by saying, OK, like gently preparing you by saying, OK, all right, well, sing in front of me first right? Then, okay, we're going to invite a couple of family members over, you know, and sing in front of a couple of family members and get their opinion and see how they feel. Okay, let's sign you up for, like, if you belong to a church, a mosque, a temple, or whatever. Like, they're not gradually preparing you for anything. It's a setup for failure. Like, in the, in the workplace, it would be like a manager that says, okay, you know, they know what your, they know what your, um, they know what your qualifications are, um, there's nowhere on their expectations that they say in the interview, there's nowhere, even when you ask what's expected of you, nothing about other duties as a sign, no nothing. They just throw you to the wolves basically and just expect for you to just kind of sort of sink or swim or figure it out, you know? And so sources saying you all are a sign that just kind of really wants you know, you kind of sort of need the structure. That's just how you all are wired. It's just the structure. So when you're in those spaces, it's very disappointing when you deal with people who know that and they intentionally do that to it's That's an intention. And they make it all about them. Well, I was able to figure it out. And how come you can't figure it out? They don't really care about you not being wired that way. Those are the people that you need to cut off with the quickness. And that's what I'm seeing here in your cards. It's just very disappointing because it's something about they're, they're not being completely honest with you about something. They're not being completely honest with you about something. So somebody has been a little indecisive. Somehow they think, you know, things just come too easy for you or that you're being coddled or, you know, or or like um people are saying, "Oh, Capricorns just need, you know." And I'm, I I've heard people say this about Capricorns in general. It's just like men and women Capricorns, "Oh, people baby Capricorns, people give Capricorns." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I've been, I've been doing this for so long. I'm like, okay, people just don't understand Zodiac signs. And so, so sources saying you got to know yourself well, well enough to be able to communicate your love language to people, both in your personal and your professional life, Capricorn, to, to, um, ex, um, to communicate that to people. And if they're not willing to even try to speak your, your love language fluently, and we're not even talking about just romantic love language, we're talking about family, just, you know, feedback. If you're in a job and you're saying, you know, your love language is words of affirmation and you're you're looking for some kind of feedback from your manager from just like, you know, hey, good job. You know, I really like, you know, and emphasize I like you doing that. And so, so, so by the time you go to for your review for an increase, you'll know you you won't even have a question as to whether you're going to get an increase or not. That's leadership. 
That's not somebody just sitting in a position, just pretending with a with a manager title. That's leadership. So source is saying somebody has been a little, you know, indecisive about things, but it's kind of hard to process when you got people hovering over your shoulders. So source is saying, you know, you'll make it here. Here we have the king of wands. You will make it to your throne. You will make it to your throne where you get a chance to from your throne, pray and see all the energies around you. But you're going through a rite of passage right now. And you do have loved one on the other side. And here we have the um, six of cups here. And somebody is trying to operate in childlike faith, you know, trying to operate in childlike faith. But you're going to have to learn how to move with strategy, you know, move more strategically. In other words, you know, when you're when you in your prayers, you know, just talking to source and other people, like I said, you got a lot of ancestors around you. People are praying for you. Um, and, um, and you may be cutting ties with some energies. Here we have the seven of cups here. Yeah. Somebody is dealing with some vain and vengeful spirits and, um, it's a, it's a lot of different types of spirits that I'm seeing here. Um, but they're, they're going to have a tower moment. They're already having a tower moment. Your tower moment is an awakening of just how obsessed energies are. Remember, Pluto is also retrograde. So Pluto is the death rebirth. It's the, it's the, um, it's the uh, metamorphosis planet. It's also the planet of... It's rebalancing, uh, it's restoring balance to Mother Earth. So you have no choice but to be balanced within. You have no choice, but you can do yourselves a favor by making sure you do the work so that you're not stressing yourself out by finding out what your moon sign is and doing that every single day. Doing it literally every single day. It doesn't even cost any money. <laughs> what I'm sharing with you is free. It does not cost you any money to nurture yourself. Take a minute. Your earth sign, what does it take to tie, lace up your shoes, go for a walk, go hug a tree, you know, seriously, like go, you know, if you need live near a beach, stick your feet in the sand, some quiet time, download, sit down and quiet your mind if you can, you know, those kind of things. But when you got people hovering over you, rushing you, you can't even think. There's other people that's picking up on that vibration that's praying for you on your behalf. And so you're learning how to you're learning how to move a little bit more strategically when you're dealing with those types of spirits. So here we have the Ten of Wands. So I do see you moving on. I do see you you moving on. Yeah, I do see you moving on from some things. Here we also have the Two of Pentacles right here. Because I see somebody trying to live a, a healthy work-life balance here. But it's hard to live a healthy work-life balance when you're around people who are wearing a mask. It's two types of energies that are wearing a mask. And that's why, and thank you to those of you all who have been putting your comments below. I did see a lot of you all who have been saying you're just now noticing that people have cameras pointing right at your house. So thank you for that because I'm sure that helps some of the other Capricorns that are tuned in to the channel who just may have just missed it. Everybody just dashing out of their house and not paying attention to stuff. But there's a lot of different types of spirits that watch people who are plotting and planning. And I'm not trying to create any kind of paranoia. But this is this right here speaks to people who are like, like I said, you never know. You never know what types of energies are around you. People think a lot of stuff happen in movies, but don't you be a part a person that's just you're one of the people that's in the movie, right? So source is saying to you, you're um, you know, you are like I said, you're moving on from some um, some past disappointments, from some energies that, two types of energy. But you have, a, like I said, you have a guardian angel that's watching over you. And so you're moving on in childlike faith. And so here's the strength card here. We also have the, the seven of swords, the knight of swords, the nine of wands, the devil card, and also the emperor card. So, um... So, um, there could be an Aries involved. Well, you could have Aries in your birth chart. You could have all of these zodiac signs in your birth chart, but this fire is all the fire energy is up here. Um, somebody could be in a demonic bond. <clears throat> it could be two energies that's together that's being ruled by their demons, like their flesh. When I say their demons, I'm talking about operating in the flesh, like they're motivated by something and, um, something that they heard about you 
So, for instance, for for people to when we talk about mirroring spirits, right? And um, and when we talk about air, so see this this water right here. This was so water being very reflective. Something about your energy, something about your energy, people feel like they want to know more about you. Like they, they want to know. And instead of people just, you know, like, like your neighbor, you know, for people who are saying their neighbors are pointing at cameras right at the door, instead of them knocking on your door, you know, like some pay, some neighbors will come knock on your door and they'll say, they'll introduce themselves. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. My name is so-and-so. Um, I noticed that you just moved in my name, you know, my name is so-and-so, uh, my spouse and I, or my partner and I, or I live right at so-and-so down the street, you know, um, and they, they wave, you know, welcome to the neighborhood. We have, uh, a homeowners association meetings every so and so. Some people are, don't operate like that. Right. And so sources saying to you, some people, they, they, they are they are, they try to project themselves onto you so you have to pay attention you have to pay attention so here we have the strength card right here so so yeah so you're you're trying to help people to unite so all of your all of your words to people have to be you know as much as you possibly can tapping into your strength to just really try to be helpful to people as much as you can you know to try to be as helpful you know, to people as much as you can. Here we also have the um, um, nine of wands. So now that you're coming into the light about a whole lot of things, um, you and somebody are coming, oh, knight of swords here. Um, it's just to stay focused, like really, really, really stay focused, you know, really stay focused because people are starting to get paranoid now. For whatever reason, people are starting to get paranoid, you know, around your, um, around you because they're starting to see, okay, Capricorn is starting to get balanced out, right? So that could mean now all of a sudden you're you're asking more questions at work. Maybe you're asking more questions at work, like okay, before you weren't asking, you know, why do you why are you um why is every time you go up for a promotion your the expectations the bar keeps getting higher and higher when you thought it was one thing but now it's something different. Now you're being a little bit more assertive. And that's where the emperor card comes in. That's where you're saying you've been a little bit more assertive. You're enforcing those boundaries. Like, okay, we've gone through this before. So now I'm going to start sending more emails. I'm going to start saying, okay, you know, this is what I need from you. You know, so you're not worried about the rest of the employees. You're not going from cubicle to cubicle to cubicle asking everybody, well, did you hear this? And what did you hear? All of this going around, that's a bunch of confusion. You're going directly to your manager, whoever to sign off on your paperwork, and you're saying, you know, this. I just want to know if I'm headed in the right direction. Just want to make sure, whatever, whatever, whatever. And so that's what Source has been trying to get out of somebody the whole time is for you to be in divine masculine energy, right? Because you're a divine feminine sign already, and so it's for you to be a little bit more assertive, both in your personal and your professional life. So that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here. So, so that air, so you do, you will find balance there. You will find balance. So, of course, it's just like feel like a devil on one shoulder and an angel on another. Somebody does feel like a little indecisive. Remember, the devil is very crafty. But what I'm seeing here, like this, is somebody could be missing a key thing here. Almost like they feel like um, they don't really know who to trust in some situations. I would always say trust source inside of you because source actually created that that spirit. Like spirit comes first before the physical body. So what is that inner voice telling you, right? Um, and so what I'm seeing here in the cards is that I do see somebody moving more strategically and I do see somebody moving on from some things, you know, moving on from some things. I do see eventually you being booked and busy not burden, you know, with other people's insecurities, their aggression, those kind of things. You just really need some time to process your thoughts. Then we have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups here. We also have the Ten of Cups. This is eventually you'll be around these types of energies. These are sacred bonds, like being around people who actually pour into you. So that could mean, like I said before, 
it can mean when I say healthy work life balance, if you don't have a job, that means somebody's getting a job soon, or if you've been looking for a promotion in, out of a department or something, that could mean you're moving on to a new department. But it's a healthy work life balance that somebody's moving on to. This is the space that you're creating for yourself, getting ready for a more relaxed, a softer life, you know, for somebody. But the sacrifice is that we have the two of pentacles here, is that you're going to have to break those karmic bonds. You are going to have to pray for an exodus strategy. And so when the door is open, you're going to have to take the opportunity, not go from cubicle to cubicle to cubicle, terrified. So I'm not really sure. What, what should I Should I apply for the job? Yes. If it's staring you right in your face, it's like, bam, right in the front of, you know, in the computer looking at you like, okay, here's the position. You're qualified for the position. Yes. Apply for it. That's source telling you, hey, I got a position for you. So here we go. Here we have the ace of wands here. So that's how you do it. So source is saying, you know, your third eye is open. Your tens across the board in terms of how you inspire and how you motivate people. And there are a lot of people who who feel like they're burdened by how you inspire and motivate people, both in your personal and your professional life. But guess what? They're the ones that's having a tower moment. The tower is falling on them. They're having some kind of an awakening that, wow, they cannot, they cannot, um, stop you. They cannot stop your flame from burning on the inside. Somebody is very passionate about what they do. Somebody cannot, somebody cannot stop your passion. And so it doesn't matter. So you don't have to be indecisive. Somebody just needs to let that, like that flame burn even hotter and just say, okay, you know what? I'm going to have to get delivered from people's judgment. In other words, I don't care what people think. That's the frequency you need to be on. So yeah, so yeah, that's what somebody is very passionate about something that they do. So this is this is really testing somebody's this is somebody this is really a test of somebody's commitment to what source put inside of you. This is somebody's commitment. So there's energies around you that will keep you in a state of confusion. So this is not the time to get paranoid. Who's watching me? Why they got their camera pointed here and there? So what? You know, smile, you're on candid camera. They need to be smiling too. <laughs> Go get a camera from the store. You point it back. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's like sources saying, listen, don't get off, don't get off kilter here. You have a purpose on planet Earth. Source needs you to sharpen your skill set. When the moon is in Gemini, and I need you all to really hear this part. When the moon is in Gemini, this is where because Gemini is a mutable sign, flip the switch. Meaning that that's the portal that you open and say, okay, I need to start listening to podcasts, audio books, taking a new class. This is why, this is how you sharpen your sword. You increase your intellect. So if that means that, okay, there's a position I've been wanting to apply for. I'm not going to sit here and worry about everything else that's going on. I need, and if the company has classes, like most companies have classes that people don't even take. <laughs> But if the company has classes, okay, let me start looking up, okay, what is the requirements for this particular job that I'm applying for? Let me, let me stop, let me get out of my head and let me go start applying for some of those positions. I already know that I'm covered. That's the tower card. I don't even have to worry about it. I'm, why, why am I worried about what somebody else is doing? I already know I'm covered. The tower falling on them. They too busy trying not to get hit by the debris. You're focusing on applying for the position. So this is what you got to know that God has you covered on all sides while you're taking your classes, while you're preparing. You're already covered. See, that's what I'm trying to help somebody do. You don't even need to be indecisive. It's in that moment, that, that, that tiny indecision that the devil is playing tricks on somebody's mind. It's in that tiny little bit of indecision, that little, that moment of indecision. I'm not really sure why I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Understand this. When when the moon moves into Gemini, that's the time to say, okay, I need to learn something new. I'm trying to sharpen my knowledge, my, my, my intellect, because sword energy is power and intellect. I need to increase my power and intellect. I need to stop getting distracted and confused, and I need to get focused, laser focused, okay? That's Knight of Swords. That's the only way I'm going to save myself. I need to get laser focused. So that should be, that should be clear as mud. <laughs> that should be clear, crystal clear, right? Adjust your crown. Yeah. So source is definitely putting you around to people who are compassionate towards what you're going through. So again, pull your birth chart. Pull your birth chart. 
Get focused. Get focused. You got people praying for you. So eventually, like I said, you're divinely protected. Don't worry about it. They're more concerned with that. Why, why you think people buying cameras? They scared about what's going on behind your vault door. They nervous. Why why is uh why is uh Capricorn so secretive? What's going on in Capricorn's mind? That's why they're hovering. Because they can't figure out because the enemy does not know what you're thinking. They only know your pattern of behavior. Come on now, let's get with it. They don't know they don't know what you're thinking. You too busy thinking about the next class you're gonna take. Okay, are there's a position in the next department that I wanna apply for? I, I did see a depart I did see a position that I wanna apply for. Let me go ahead and apply for that position. Two of Wands. You have tons of opportunities coming your way. Let's get focused. Let's get focused. Focus. 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 Focused. Focus. Let's get focused. Let's get fired up and let's get focused. Here's the Justice card, right? So yeah, no indecision about this in your personal or your professional life. Somebody is definitely dealing with two types of energies that are vain and vengeful. You know, green with envy, trying to disrupt your peace, trying to throw you off kilter. But they are more concerned about how you're able to stay so focused despite their physical presence of their cameras, their physical presence of their bodies, their physical presence, because that is what bullying spirits do. That's what they do. They post up, right? That's what they do. Y'all need to y'all need to develop the model pose. <laughs> Y'all need to come out the house posing, okay? Get some sunglasses, okay? Spin, turn. Here we have the um, King of Swords. <laughs> Smile for the cameras. So, yeah. So, anyway, my point to you is that somebody is, you're divinely covered. You're divinely protected. You're divinely covered. Don't get paranoid about stuff, right? You don't have anything to hide. You know, you got people who, you know, like I said, are obsessed. Somebody started some kind of crazy rumor because you all are a sign that needs to process your thoughts and people are starting all kinds of stuff thinking that you're hiding something where you're just simply trying to process your thoughts. And when you see sword energy, that's processing death, which there is no expiration grief on, I mean, expiration date on that. This is processing uh, the ending of marriages, the ending of jobs, the ending of... It's something finite. It's pro processing the ending of something. Like you feel like you lost your power. You know how powerless people feel when they lose loved ones. They feel like, man, if I just had one more day, if I had, if I had just a, another moment, if I had, you know, I, I should have called them, you know, and people don't even give you a chance to even process your thoughts and they think you hiding something. Psst. You're not giving them any, forget them, <laughs> forget them. You know what? You too busy saying, you know what? I need to I need to process my thoughts. I need to go ahead and start because you got too many opportunities to travel, to meet new people. They not there's nothing it's nothing that they're going to find out except that you're a good person. That's it. You have a big heart, you love deep and you love hard, and you got somebody who is trying to project themselves onto you. That's all. It's a master manipulator. And it's two of them working together. That's too afraid to say that they were wrong about you. Okay, there it is. More money is coming across your path. So congratulations. It's a shame that people would believe a lie about people before they even investigate to find out the truth. So not your problem. Not your problem. Not your problem at all. <clears throat> but they want everybody to believe the truth about them. Oh, they don't. Well, well, oh, that's not true. I I was grieving, and I wanted somebody to. These are people who are not compassionate to other towards other people at all. But they want every. They want all the compassion and the hugs and love and kisses when they going through stuff. So sources like look. Protect yourself. The answers you seek are coming. Somebody see. Somebody never stopped loving you. And if that's how people love, by creating all kinds of rumors, somebody started a whole big firestorm of some stuff, all because they said they never stopped loving you. That sounds like they hate themselves. That's what that sounds like. That sounds very self-absorbed and narcissistic. So, 
focus on, like I said, somebody has new money coming across your path. You're not, you're not going backwards. Like I said, schedule a vacation. Schedule a vacation. Your new home awaits. Your well of joy is within. You keep moving forward. You know you're not doubling back for them. They want to call you, but they haven't changed. Lord have mercy. I can't make this kind of stuff up. I'm serious. Your ex wants to return. I'm serious. Like ex-friend, ex-love interest, ex-somebody wants to return. Created all of this drama around your life. Trying to get you all paranoid and get you all stirred up. Got neighbors, you know, they talking to neighbors about you. Got people posted up watching. You know, if you got a business, they got people calling you. Doing all kinds of posing as clients. I mean, they doing all kinds of mess. Instead, instead of just saying, you know, I really missed, I really fumbled that. I really messed up. You know, next time I'll pay more attention. God complex, just arrogant. So let the tower fall. You too busy. Making money. Still, look, you, at least you sailed away. You still got a good heart. You still got a good heart. You're a good person. And, and keep it that way. So that's what I'm saying for you. And like I said, you tens across the board. It's you and somebody. So it could be you and your spouse. It could be you and somebody, but you and somebody, you and a you and a brother or sister, or you and, you and a sibling. I'm just saying that because it'd be two sisters, two brothers, brother and sister, sister brother, whoever. But you and your kids, whoever. Um, both of y'all have inherited that same drive, that same passion, that same work ethic, right? Y'all have inherited that same warm spirit, right? Y'all have inherited that same. Um, that same uh, fire, right? Um, and but both of y'all have inherited that um, that that prayer warrior spirit, right? So both of you had to walk through the fire. This is not something you can read in a textbook, uh, Capricorn. This is something you have to walk through yourself, because if people had to tell, like a lot of people pray, I wish, oh gosh, I, I wish I could pray like that. When you hear people praying, I wish I could pray like that. They praying like that because they went through some stuff. You don't, you don't, I mean, you, you don't, you don't pray like that. You know, even when you looking at, you know, you see fire marshal bill <laughs> and you see the strands of hair after he came out, <laughs> he came out, you know, and I know it's supposed to be comedic and funny, but you know, he rose up out of the ashes, Right. And so you know, he just kept popping up no matter what was going on, you know, and was able to make a joke out of something. But sources saying, you know, there's some people who are, they're going to learn. They're going to learn that you have a good heart and what they're dealing with, no matter how much they, they are, they keep wanting to believe negativity about you. You are in human form. That's human frailty. You know, the, that you are in human form that you cry like everybody else, that you laugh like everybody else, that you, um, that you have been, and I don't know, like it looks like your cards right here, that somebody isn't, hasn't been an overgiver. Like you have been, it looks like when I look at your cards here, Capricorn, it looks like every single time people have given you the cold shoulder, you were the first one to extend the olive branch. So it, it got so to a point here that, like you would be the first one to speak. If somebody stopped talking to you, you would be the first one to reach out to them first. And that was part of the mind game for people. It's like, oh, okay, I know if I stop speaking to them, they'll call me first. I know if I stop um, interacting with them, they'll play. It was just part of the mind game. So now that you're starting to balance things out, people are like, okay, well, where, who, who are they talking to? What's going on here? So you're just learning how to balance it out. That neighbor that you said, okay, I'm taking the high road. I'm going to speak to them even if they don't speak to me. Now somebody's going to start saying, okay, I'm going to speak to them a couple of times. But if I realize they don't want to speak to me back, I'm just going to keep it moving. This job, if I feel like, you know, I'm keep going up for the promotion and I'm starting to see a pattern of behavior where I feel like I'm being set up for failure. And I keep asking for help and I keep, you know, trying to tell them this is my love language and they're not trying to speak it. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and start applying for something else. I'm not going to get upset. I'm just going to apply for something else. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say, hey, 
maybe they got a bunch of stuff going on. I don't have to step down off my throne and speak negatively about them. Hey, I don't I don't have to say anything negative. Let's keep it on the throne. King of Swords. You're wise enough to know you don't have to say anything negative about people. So that's that's the frequency that you want. You a good you have a good heart, Capricorns. Y'all got good hearts, so. But stop overdoing it. You know, that's what's keep creating a, you know, people are like, okay, why they just, you know, keep warming up to like, why, what, what is the, what's going on? Like, you know, like a person who has just been like, okay, I got to keep showing person that people I'm a warm hearted person. Everybody know that y'all are warm hearted people. So that's how you going to balance it out. And you deliver from people's judgment. So the next time that neighbor act like they don't want, they didn't see you and don't want to speak. All right, it's cool. It's cool. Guess what? It's not gonna ruin your day one way or the other. You're still gonna have a good day. You know why? Because you woke up and set an intention. You looked in the mirror. You already told yourself you're gonna have a good day. You walked out that door. That's another portal. You already decided you're gonna have a good day. You don't even need to have a negative conversation about them, a negative thought about them. Maybe they didn't see you. Maybe they had on sunglasses and they was, their mind was thinking about what they was going to cook for dinner. Maybe, like I said, don't be like them, whoever they are. Don't make it all about you all the time. Like, whatever. Here we have 28. I'm a leader. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. Balance it out. Balance it out. We all know that there's um, some people who are in um, management positions or leadership positions who, you know, there's, they had a lot of stuff going on. They don't, you know, they, they have one cookie. It's, it's different types of uh, management styles, you know, different types of management styles. Some is cookie cutter way. Hey, I just got one expectation. I'm not trying to meet people's love languages. Some people never even heard of a love language. So... You got to be the person that's to initiate that and say, you know, hey, this is this is what I this is what my expectations are as an employee or a manager or whatever your title is. But these are the people you're about to be around. These are the people you're about to be around. Everybody's pouring into each other. Very compassionate people and, um, you know, people who encourage you to pour into yourself. Those are the people you're about to be around. So I am worthy of the very best in life and lovingly allow myself to accept what comes my way. Yep. But just know that somebody has two very low vibrating, vain and vengeful spirits. They're making it all about them, running around telling lies and stuff. But they, the tower is falling on them. And so the more and more the tower is falling their way, they just haven't figured it out that the more and more they talk negatively about you and other people, the tower is like their life is just going down, 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 down. While things are getting better, 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 better for you. And that's all you need to do is focus on um, sharpening your swords, which mean your intellect, right? Your power and your intellect. So take those classes, listen to those podcasts, say those affirmations or create those affirmations and do some things, some kind things for yourselves. This going to take your mind away from taking, don't take yourself off of the throne. You don't have anything negative to say about them. But balance it out. Balance it out. They don't speak. Okay, no problem. Hey, maybe their mind is somewhere else. Grounded. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. You know, maybe they start to notice that you're not speaking now because you would, you know, sue the hand about to fall off, you know. Then they say, oh my gosh, hey, hey, so-and-so. It's like, oh, okay, now all of a sudden they're speaking. Okay, maybe they didn't notice before. Maybe they say, oh, you know what? They always usually speak. You know, I, my mind was so all over the place. I, You know, they uh, let me speak first for a change at Capricorn. Then you'll start to notice a change, that energy, right? So that's what I have for you all. But don't worry about the energies that are vain and vengeful. And, you know, when I look at your entire reading, somebody is just dealing with energies that misread you. They got a bunch of mess started and it's hard for you to take back stuff that you said, you know, about people once you got a whole bunch of mess started. And unfortunately, they told it to people who are very low vibrational, 
and they operate on that frequency and they believe anything they hear. So like I said, not your problem. Keep it on the throne. You got better things to do, like applying for new jobs, making your money, meeting your, your people, your group of people. Um, and operating in childlike faith. So don't even vibrate on that frequency. That's what I have for you all Capricorns. Here are the questions for the moon and Gemini. And for those of you all who were asking for the bonus video, the bonus video has been up. <laughs> it's been up, y'all. Is The video is like almost 45 minutes. It's been up. So it's already up. So um, you all had two videos the last time. So, you know, y'all got two videos. You may have to just go back to... Uh, that last date when the video went up i think the video went up on the 30th of june so i think capricorn has two videos up so one of them is the bonus video i'm not announcing at the beginning of the video that it's a bonus video but it's a bonus the longest one is the bonus video okay so and i think i pinned it to the top of um i want to say i pinned it to the top of one of the under the video so it's pinned and then I just put bonus, you know, because so many people kept saying, I want to see it. I want to see it. I kept saying it's already up. It's already up. It's already up. So first question is, do you feel there's an area in your life in need of radical change, work, your relationship, well-being, your home life? The second question is what's getting in the way of you changing your story? The third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? And then last but not least is, who are the five people you can get in touch with who could help you on your journey? Who are the five people you can get in touch with who could help you on your journey? Yeah. So that is what I have for you in your cards. That's what I see for you in your cards. Um, like I said, source is saying justice is in somebody's favor. You in somebody's favor. Um, and so don't worry about, um, like I said, because the tower is falling down on some people. So they don't, they don't have anything to do with you. That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.